Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well today. So I want to share with you one of the most beautiful cichlids in the hobby. And I don't think this fish gets nearly as much love as it should. It is stunning. And it's an absolute beast, though relatively easy to take care of. Today we're talking about the Paratilapia polini. Let's go check it out. And here they are, the Paratilapia polini, coming to us from the lakes of Madagascar. They're also known as the Starry Night Cichlid, and I bet you can tell why. Looking at them is like staring into a beautiful midnight sky. Now I don't want to just rattle off a bunch of facts about this species that you can just find online, but I will share with you how I keep my starry night cichlids and what I think has led to my success with this beautiful fish. But I do want to get one thing out of the way first, the name of this fish. I call it a Paratilapia polini because that's what I've always known it to be. But there's lots of debate out there on if it's a bleaker eye, an endapa, or if those are even three separate species. I don't know, I'm not an ichthologist. I just enjoy looking at this thing. What we have here is an adult pair. One male, about 12 inches, and one female, about 9 inches. That's pretty much full grown. And these two are about 5 years old. Now many sources online will tell you they only live 5 to 7 years. I don't believe that for a second, because these two are still going strong. I do know some reports of them living 12 to 13 years, so I'm crossing my fingers and I really hope that's what I get out of these two. Let's talk about how I actually keep these fish. These two are in a 75 gallon aquarium. Now some of you might say that is not big enough for a fish this size, and normally you would be totally correct. However, this species is very sedentary. I've kept these two alone in a 125, and they did not utilize all the space. They are very happy in the 75 here. But you shouldn't go any smaller than that. Like most of the fish room, I keep these fish in Indiana tap water, colloquially known as liquid rock. It's very hard with a very high pH, up to 8.2 or even 8.4 at times. These fish do quite well in it. We keep the starry nights at about 77 degrees Fahrenheit, though they fluctuated anywhere from 74 all the way up to 80 and have had no issues. Really the only area in which these fish can be difficult to keep is in feeding them. The female here will eat anything, but the male has proven to be quite picky. He'll sometimes go days with no interest in food whatsoever, and then he'll develop a craving for one particular type of food be it pellets or shrimp, what have you, and he'll just gobble up however much I drop in there. One big tip to getting the most out of your Starry Night Cichlids is to have a tank that is relatively open. I have only a couple pieces of decoration in the tank for the cichlids to hide behind if they feel the need, but for the most part it's pretty open and it makes it much easier to enjoy the cichlids swimming about and they do just fine. Now this is best done with a compatible pair or a single specimen. If you have two fish that are prone to attacking one another, then it is better to have more hiding places for security. At the end of the day, these fish are pretty easy to take care of, and they are awesome. I just can't recommend them highly enough. If you ever get a chance to pick up one of these cichlids, please do so. You will not regret it. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
Stay tuned for more. There's so much amazing stuff to share with you, and I can't wait to do it. Have a good one, guys. See you next time.